What's up everyone, this is George from Your Local Musician and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you one golden nugget to make you a better music producer. I know I've shed a lot of negative light in the past on this channel towards studying music production at university or college and whether that has contributed to anything I do today. And I know I've said a lot of negative things about it, but I wanna share with you one thing that I learned that has really stayed with me ever since and it's what I continue to do today to try and make myself better at what I do and to always continually learn and improve from other people and what they're doing and how I can take what they're doing, mix and mash up all that knowledge and make it something of my own that I can be proud of. And what I'm talking about is very, very simple, is almost downright silly is to simply deconstruct the instrumentals of other producers. And what do I mean when I say that? I mean that the availability of what's online today is that even if you were to use uh, the catalog that's on BeatStars, people's catalogs that are on uh, Airbit for whatever, listen to these people's instrumentals and listen to very closely to the elements that they're using. Are they using a pad there? Are they in minor or a major key? What BPM are they in? Are they using a bass there? What kind of bass are they using? Why are they using their bass? Ask yourself this sort of question and get a feel for the way these tracks feel. What time signature are they in? Is it is it 4-4? Most likely it's gonna be. Are they a little bit experimental and gone into 6-4? And let's say that you wanna make trap, but you've never made trap before. So the easiest thing to do is to listen to other people's instrumentals and break those down. Study the elements and don't copy, I always say this, never copy. You don't copy. What you do is model. Take what you've heard there, take what you've listened to there, and ultimately bend that in a way that is unique for you. And from that research and from that knowledge, you're ultimately going to create a sound of your own. So that's just sort of that one golden nugget that I kind of learned throughout college and university. And it's a really good way to research other genres and what other people were doing and ultimately it's a mindset thing it is a mindset thing and but it is also extremely practical simply look at the people that you follow the producers that you follow and figure out why you like their music why do you like their music what's specific about it is it the kick is it the snare is it their choice of kick is it the choice of snare is it the way they play the keyboard is it the way they play their midi you know is it their just like overall personality are you sure you're not getting it mixed up with their personality? If they brand themselves, that is the reason why you like them. But if you like their music, I'm rambling a little bit, but if you like their music, just break it down. Use it as a driving force to model and to create something unique from those ideas. That's ultimately what we should all be doing. We should be learning from each other and using the knowledge of each other to improve ourselves so we can live happier healthier and wealthier lives so guys if you like videos like this remember to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell if you want to hear from me again if you do that that, that would be great and we can 